with and Scruff, based on the series 14 episode Thomas and Scruff, written by Christopher O'Shea and Jacob Hayes. of Sovador, all the engines have different jobs to do. With the rubbish engine usually spends his time shunting trucks at the waste dump on Edward's branch line. He doesn't mind shunting trucks full of rubbish, but lately it had become very tiring for the poor engine, and it was clear that he needed some help. One morning, Doug chuffed into the waste dump. Whiff was busy shunting rubbish trucks all over the place. Morning Whiff! Oh, good morning, Doc. Uh, sorry, I haven't time to talk. Uh, I've, I've got too much to do. Uh, with? Are you alright? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I'm fine. I'm fit as a fiddle, as a matter of fact, and nothing wrong here. Are you sure about that? Because it looks to me like you're exhausted from something. Oh, um, that's, um, that's just some jam from my driver's sandwich he has for lunch today. He, uh, just needs to wipe it off my face! Okay, there's definitely something wrong with. But you aren't normally this... Ouch. Clumsy. Alright, fine. You're right, duck. Recently, it feels like the waste dump has gotten busier and busier. I've had even more trucks to shunt and almost no time to rest my wheels. Well, perhaps a bit of help might be in order. No, no, it's all right. I can manage by myself. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Doc decided to speak with Lady Hat about Wish's struggle, and in a case of fortunate timing, Lady Hat was on board Mavis, who delivered an engine she had recently bought. The engine was put into steam, and trundled eagerly to the waste dump. This is where you'll be working, Scruff. And this is Whiff, who you'll be working with. Well, go on. At least give him a friendly welcome. Fine, but don't expect me to be his friend or anything. Hello, Scruff. I'm sorry that this is the most glamorous place for a shunter, but... Are you kidding? I couldn't be happier to work in a foundry like this. Shunting dirty loads was my life. I won't want to get clean again after working here. Well, good. We desperately need a new engine. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a moment. You still need to get cleaned. What? what? Excuse me, what? Let me repeat that. You still need to be cleaned. I know working at the waste dump makes you dirty anyway, but... By then, Scruff was nudging himself forward, getting his driver to drive him away. Come on, Scruff, get a hold of yourself. But, 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 but I don't want to be clean! You know I hate getting cleaned! And then, without warning, Scruff jerked forward, leaving his fireman to land on and press down on the regulator, releasing steam and setting Scruff on his way out of the dump. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. Scruff rattled and raced down the line slipped clumsily through the junction and into a siding, hidden by a clump of huge weeping willows. Whiff caught up with him, and upon shutting off his own steam, he heard Scruff's own anxious wisps of steam instantly. Scruff, I know you're in there. No, I'm not. Scruff, if you come out, I'll let you take the workmen's coaches to the town. What are coaches? Okay, never mind, I'll let you pull the heaviest rubbish trucks to town. To town? Four trucks? 
Hooray! No, 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 it's just empty for the town to uh, pick up rubbish that uh, uh, Sally already took from Piotr. Okay, there's nothing in return for you. Look, just come back to get cleaned and you can get as messy as you like. Ugh, I wouldn't want to be cleaned, period! Hey, where'd the whiff go? Whoops! I slipped onto the side at the top speed. Silly me! Let me just get back to it. Ooh, silly me! Sorry, Scruff. Guess you'll stop being pushed by me until I get back to the way stump. Once they got back, Scruff was put into the shed to not be able to escape. He managed to get cleaned, but everyone was disappointed in his disobedience. Some first impression I gave. Wouldn't be surprised if Sir Topham wasn't considering sending you somewhere else. I'd much rather you were in anywhere else but here. <laughs> Idiot. Later, Gordon came around to pull a rubbish train. Oh, quiet work is good once in a while, but I'd do it anywhere but here. Even after Diesel had been rescued from Glendale Island, the Northwestern's fleet was still down by a few key goods engines, so Gordon continued to be a more frequent visitor to the dump. The sooner I get my jobs done, the sooner I could do more appropriate work. In his rush, he didn't take the time to notice that earlier, some containers of cooking fat were dropped accidentally onto the tracks, and it was a lot to clean up. One of the cleaners saw Gordon coming and gave the warning. As Gordon came speeding towards them, Whiff gave the whistle of warning. Clear the area! Clear the area! Scruff noticed the ordeal from his shed and thankfully his driver had yet to shut off steam. Get me as close as you can to Gordon. I have a plan! His driver did so, knowing any spur of the moment idea would be better than nothing. So Scruff was sent scuttling as fast as he could towards a long line of rubbish trucks. He pushed some onwards towards a crossing. At this point he stopped, and Gordon, still going at a dangerous speed, collided with the trucks. Oh, the indignity! This could have been a lot worse had it not been for Scruff's intervention. At least your buffer beam is in one piece. Quite so. I'm sure the manager heard that and will commend you for your actions. And that he did. And as a reward, he ordered Scruff to be cleaned. And surprisingly, Scruff accepted it. He took it as a reward because it was with good intent. It was no surprise that they ended up keeping him in the end, and Scruff couldn't be happier to have gone to sleep in a proper shed for the first time in a long, long while. I'm sorry for being stuffy about newcomer Scruff. It's just that I was always proud of my work on the dump. And I felt that I was impaired once the new engine came to help after so long. Oh, that's alright. I'm sorry I was so stubborn about getting clean. I won't be complaining about that from now on. So long as I always get messy again. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, you want to learn about coaches? In that episode of Thomas Rewritten, the story was written by Christopher O'Shea and Jacob Hayes. It's that Christopher O'Shea is Whiff and Scruff's driver, Fantastic Mr. S's duck, Angels and Arachnids is Lady Hat, Delmar Mullins is Scruff, Queen Engine Studios is Whiff's driver, The Blue E2 is Anthony, Alex Adena is the dump worker, Mitch Traffic Studios is Gordon, and Whiff is as the narrator. Music was provided by Thomas Sebi MG and Robert Hartshorn, and the sound effects were provided by GW Shunter and Miscellaneous Sources. This has been a Steam Powered Cyborg production. Characters were owned by Wilbert and Christopher Audrey, Brittlecroft, David Mitten, Hit Entertainment, and Mattel. <laughs>